and Captain Burger here. I finally got around to watching that IGN interview with Todd Howard of Bethesda Game Studios, aka uh, Stepdaddy Todd, thus replacing our beloved Daddy Braven of Frontier. Daddy Braven went to get milk and smokes and he never came back. Apparently the extra time with the delay of the game was spent playing the game, he says. Uh, I see I play games at work and I get yelled at by my boss. Anyway, they've been fixing bugs, which is good news. I'm curious which bug species they'll have. Uh, perhaps a giant cockroach alien from Ben and Black. More sugar. That's basically me when I run out of coffee creamer. I dump about 47 tablespoons of sugar into my little fucking cup. It's about half sugar, half fucking coffee, folks. I don't get people that say they like black coffee. It's like, fuck off. It tastes like you're drinking out of a soldier's helmet in the jungles of Vietnam in fucking 1967. Next point, uh, the game is 30 FPS locked on the consoles. I guess it would kind of suck if you were getting 60 and then you get into combat and it dips well below that. Might as well just drop the bar from the get-go so you're used to it. Fair enough, Toddler. Now, this is news to me, but apparently they've been working on Starfield for eight years now. That is a long-ass time. When asked about the inspirations for Starfield, Tony compares Starfield to Red Dead Redemption 2. He says it transports you to a place. You're living in a science fiction explorer fantasy, he says. Much like the Wild West fantasy of Red Dead Redemption 2. Moving on, Stepdaddy Todd says he hopes he will play the main quest, but he wants people to do whatever they want to do. Basically like when you go to Burger King, you have it your way. Fucking 200,000 different combinations of burgers there. That blows my absolute mind right there, folks. Now, for me, I'll probably get into the main quest, a few missions, and then go explore the different cities, try and investigate some different factions and side quests and shit like that. It was always fun to go into a cave in Skyrim and get launched to fucking Mars by an ice troll that was level 6 million or whatever. Tyler did say that they've learned from the successes of Skyrim and the replayability, and they want to bake that into Starfield as well. Except Daddy Todd said they're going to do a lot of add-on content and said there will be a story expansion pack. Uh, varying sizes of DLC consisting of features and stories. It's all pretty great news, boys. If they actually fucking do it. I hate when devs say shit's coming and then they just forget about the game after six months. They're like, oh, no, my fucking problem anymore. And you're like, all right, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Well, one story Todd shared about his time playing the game. He said he was in a firefight on board a ship on a planet. And then the ship took off into fucking space while he was fighting on it. It'd be like robbing a gas station and do behind the counter pressing some buttons on the register. Do, 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 do. Next thing you know, you look out the window and there's fucking Jupiter. You're like, what the fuck happened, man? Like, I guess you shouldn't have fucking robbed me. Except Daddy Todd did say there is a lot of unique stuff in Starfield you can find. Like, apparently in Oblivion, you can find an actual fucking unicorn. He said there's some really, really special ones. And uh, with the vastness of space, makes you wonder how long it's going to take people to find this shit. I'm sure the nerds will have it all figured out and cataloged on fucking Wikipedia for Starfield about eight hours after launch. Hey, Andrew, I found another one. <laughs> Gotta love the nerds, though, I gotta say, except for them FDL nerds. One thing that really blew my mind, uh, Todd said there's more handcrafted content in this game than any other game Bethesda's done. Said there's more dialogue in Starfield than in Fallout 4 and Skyrim combined. That is fucking mind-blowing, folks. I wonder if they'll ever have any kind of crossover from another universe, like maybe a, a book on a shelf from Skyrim or something like that. I think that kind of shit's fun, although it could break the immersion. You guys know how big of a fan of immersion I am. And this time, boys, Starfield is 68 days from launch. Uh, another news, I put up my first Burger Shop review as a short. I don't know if that shit got out to you guys. Uh, link it in the comments or description or whatever the fuck. Uh, basically, I'm going all over the world and I have a fucking burger everywhere I go. And I'll just kind of review it. If you don't want to watch it, I don't give a fuck. Anyway, Captain Burger signing off. Uh, have a great fourth from fellow Americans and happy Canada Day to the boys up north. I think Canadians are all extra nice because they live closer to Santa Claus.